Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolution.com with my business partner Tricon Technology. Today I am going to show you how to create project application under Enterprise Planning Budgeting Cloud Service. We would do this in three steps. First, we'll see how to create application, enable project, and configure project module. So this is a hands-on session. If you're new to planning, please watch my previous video of getting started with planning. So as usual, we'll log into our cloud instance and create an application. So log into your cloud, start your planning budgeting module, start the enterprise application, define your application name. I gave over here EPBCS, you are free to give any name. The sample project financial planning module. Just follow this wizard and next step you need to define your time period. I like to start for 2012 to 2020. I'm going to maintain five years of historical data and three years of future data. Uh, I continue to use month January, but you can use over here April or May, depends upon your project requirement. And even distribution, this is a multi-currency application. So select multi-currency and default currency USD. It, it is going to create two cube, one for input cube, one for reporting cube. This is a summary of your selection. If you find everything good, click on create. It will create an as space outline behind the screen with predefined dimension structure. This process will take few seconds. Once this is done, we're going to initiate project module and continue. Let's wait for a few seconds and wait for this process to be completed. So good, your application got created successfully. You can now initiate your project module. But before that, I like to rename my anti-dimension to, to department, just in order to ensure that there is no conflict with the new initiated application. I'm going to change this anti-dimension name as department. You can change the name as per your need, keeping all option default. I'm just going to rename my dimension. Next step, you can go to config tab and under application, config and enable your project module. If you haven't done in the past, please watch my previous video of enabling financial workforce and capital module. Today we select project, follow this wizard, define your project type. I'm going to use project as internal project. You can make it capital and it will bring revenue and expenses as well. And then I select project benefit, financial, non-financial expense type. Uh, I use labor and direct input. This information you supposed to refer to design document accordingly, you can select them. I don't need a rolling forecast. I'm going to skip this. And uh, next, I like to use one more custom dimension, which work as an attribute called program. You can clear and rename it if you need something else. So click on enable. This process will set up some default dimension, data form, member, user variable, smart list. This process will take another few seconds. We wait for this process to be completed. Perfect, your application project function got enabled. You can log off, log in and see the changes happen so I'm going to log off and we see what changes you can see. You see a new module called project module appeared along with some couple of dimension. So the moment you log in, you see there's a project module and under this you see project summary, expenses, analysis. Based on your other selection, you can see revenue. Uh, you log into application and there you can see under application config, You see, these are the dimensions called project entity got created. Some of them are tagged as mandatory and optional. In addition to this, you can find over here, 
uh, under overview you can see the number of cube got created and all the dimension the next step we are going to load metadata so I start with loading anti-dimension so select anti-dimension the metadata exists in flat file which you can access from your shared location so which is department in our case in a subsequent session I'll teach you how to create metadata file and the various format for metadata file right now we just select the existing metadata file of department we validate and import so behind the screen it creates a job file if you like to refresh your database you can do it over here now or you can defer it I'm going to defer this now and when you go to job you see there are two jobs created one for validate metadata second one is for load in addition to this you can also see the green flag appeared which says which indicate your metadata got loaded successfully now we do some other settings like comma separator setting thousand separator setting i use thousand separator as comma and you can define other setting as well decimal operator negative sign and so on click on save Now, in order to extend data form or business rule, you need to define the variable values. So, so set of variable got created, you need to set the variable value. Click on user variable and define this variable value. So in our case, my default currency USD. Entity I use operational US. operating us you can search over here operation us operations us and uh, reporting currency i use usd reporting We can search over here. I want reporting to be used for USD, therefore I use USD reporting. Scenario continue to be your plan and version would be working version. Define your year for I'm going to start with year FI16. Save these variable values. Now all your data form and uh, business rules are going to refer these variables next we are going to define the forecast and plan setting so go back to your home page under your configuration define your forecast and plan setting planning and forecasting preparation so start with planning um, I start with FI 15 so three years of historic data month continue to be January and next fiscal year and I would like to do planning for monthly generally the the longer you plan uh, the more summary information you maintain so first three years you like to maintain for uh, maybe monthly forecasting and then as you go on you like to do quarterly and yearly in this example I keep all month similarly you define for forecast F515 January next fiscal year for five year of planning and all months you should refer your design document and look at your planning and forecasting cycle the best way to look at your existing Excel sheets the next step I'm going to load some driver value and all the calculation will be based on driver value you can also load data metadata for global assumption as well so start with your resource class 
and I already have a, some default setting for resource class as default input for the sake of learning. Point to your this file and validate and import. We'll see if our job got successfully executed. Under job, both of the job got executed successfully. And I like to refresh my queue before I proceed further. So let's refresh the queue because you made a required changes in the application. Refresh your queue. You can also refresh through EPIM automate utility and schedule your refresh. Refresh database. It'll take another few seconds. Cube refresh is done. So because we loaded project resources, therefore there's a smart view dependent on this. It would have also updated. You can go to smart list, smart list, sorry, and job. So this job smart list got created with these entries. So validate and make sure these entries are available. Depends upon your input, the smart list value will also change. Next, I'm going to modify my expense account and define expense account default setting, default values. So go to your application, setting, expense account. Sorry, config. Select your application, project, financial planning, expense account. So these are the expense account. I like to use other class, category, and other total expenses. So in order to make some changes, first you can export and import. So export this change, it will appear in Excel sheet, make the required changes, and then you can import back. This is an Excel format. Your business user can directly modify it. Check your download folder under user project, user download folder and you can access these are by two default values opf other expenses and billable i'm going to add couple of member into this excel sheet and we'll use it we'll import this so i already made some changes let me show it to you so a couple of sample member got added and you also make some changes like I added travel, promotion expenses, launch expense, and so on. All the changes are done. Now we are going to import back this to our application. So there's a utility called import and export. You can use import, point to your file. And this will also submit a job. Okay, I have not chosen the right format. Let me use Excel as file. So these are type of changes. All the property time balance property to power data storage has bought back. Click on save and close. So you bring your import expenses as well. Next, I'm going to add one smart list and associate as a project property. So under smart list session, add new smart list, click plus. I name it as project, project properties. And you can define label and smart list name and label. Then what member you like to select? Define member project properties. The projects are designed for different entries I make for information technology. Add more members. Continue to add more member, new product development. 
and so on you can continue add this would be serve as a property so once you make all the required changes click on save okay the space the issue so name i give abbreviation and label i keep complete so rather than using complete information technology let's use it and new product development and p d this makes sense click on save now i associate this as a property to my application so click on save and close so now i go to project property and associate this go back to your config section application config project project properties and you can add new member on a dimension add and you can define the name over here you can use a project property as a name so i name it as project property and data storage type i use smart list and the one smart list which is now created will point to this project property save this now you can see the changes has been reflected next step i am going to add some custom attribute to my project dimension so i go to my dimension section project i like to analyze project based on some attribute so you can add custom attribute and name some attribute under project so i am going to attribute select program and define all its attribute so i give a causes like management change new technology adoption and so on you can define more members and so on so you added some custom attribute save and close a project can be classified by using different properties so you can select project and associate property with this so click on project and you can go to edit and associate attribute so management change or technology new technology adoption associate this and click on save it's a dynamic member i can't use it probably i should use different member so i use member call well i don't have many members probably i use no project for the sake of testing and under attribute i can define attribute there are two attribute created associate this attribute click on save and go on the final step would be to refresh your queue so i'll go back and refresh my queue finally application config select your module and this time again refreshing queue would be considered as a job refresh database it'll take another few second so this is the last step for first part of application configuration in second part i'll talk about advanced configuration of project management take few second and that's it for today your questions are welcome you can write to bhpsolution.com thank you and have a great day